it's important to know the difference between a satellite and a radar image. Now, I know most of us do understand this, but still, even to this day, I get people sharing some images with me saying, take a look at this latest radar image of a weather system. And it's very clearly a satellite image and vice versa. So let's break down the key important differences between a satellite and a radar image. Now, the key difference between a weather radar and a weather satellite is where they're located. A weather radar is on the ground while a satellite is up there in space. It can be either polar orbiting or geostationary. The geostationary ones are the ones that give us these fantastic continuous images of weather all over the world. And it wasn't really until the 70s that these were publicly available and ready usable. Prior to that, in the 40s, weather radar became a thing. And those are positioned on the ground and they can only see out a few hundred kilometers or miles in each direction, dependent on the atmosphere. So let's talk about weather radar and what it's used for. Mainly, it's used to track precipitation like rain, snow, sleet, and hail. And it can help determine the difference between each one of those. Also very important when tracking severe thunderstorms, including tornadoes. Weather radar sends out radio waves that bounces off objects like raindrops, snowflakes, or hail. And the radar themselves measures the return signal. The echo determine the location intensity of said precipitation. Doppler radar can also be used to measure velocity of a storm system. That meaning how fast the precipitation is moving to and from the radar. So if you see this image, this is reflectivity. This is velocity. Now, weather satellites, in simple terms, it's to give you a broader view of what is going on in the atmosphere. Collecting data from all over the world. Now, there's those two main types of weather satellites I mentioned, geostationary and polar orbiting. Now, the key use for these is that real-time and long-range forecasting for monitoring global weather patterns, such as hurricanes, cloud formations, even sea surface temperatures or large storm systems. Also, weather satellites can be used in remote locations, especially over open water. We're far away and removed from any land masses, and not to mention poorer countries that may not be able to afford a weather radar system, which can be quite expensive. So I hope this helps you know what the difference between a weather radar and a weather satellite is, and maybe helps you do your own weather forecast as we look ahead into the future. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.